you would not have seen this in any other caravans. Look how tall the caravan is. You can now fall under it like this. Our 2022 vacation of Rough Rider, 19.9 foot <laughs> family. family van. <laughs> not a mouthful. A mouthful, yeah. It's super easy to use. It's a completely off grid system. Yeah, love it. Something that I really wanted and vacation I was able to do. This whole system is on an app, so she controls everything by the touch of her finger on her app. All right, you ready? All righty, everyone, welcome to a new episode. This one is following on from last week when we picked up this big behemoth behind us. Our home. Our home on wheels, yes. Um, our 2022 vacation of Rough Rider, 19.9 foot <laughs> Family. family van. <laughs> that was a mouthful. A mouthful, yeah. Absolutely stoked with it, aren't we? Yeah, love it. Look, well, we haven't taken it on the tracks yet, so that's coming next week. It's coming. But this is going to, we're going to walk you through all of what we've made here. Or well, vacation have made it. But... <laughs> Custom made <laughs> caravan to what we like. Yeah. Should we start at the front? I guess so. Let's do it. front on the very front the tip of this van <laughs> it's a do 35 hitch which gives you 360 swivel pull that way and then about 180 there moving down obviously handbrake this is the ocean <laughs> lever if that that connects to your car and foot pulls out it'll put all the brakes on it's called a breakaway we've got <laughs> cords coming out our ears this one's just your uh, normal 12 pin that is for the electronic stability control and that's just your power in from your car and if you look at all this that's a breakaway reversing camera electronic stability to control jockey wheel why do we need a reversing camera so we have no more fights and <laughs> we don't fight i know we're pretty good but um so i don't have to listen to alenia again yeah that's about right <laughs> isn't it and then we've got a stone guard this big dog um to deflect stones, obviously. <laughs> Sitting behind the stone deflectors, two 9K gas bottles. And then behind that is our diesel heater tank. Full of diesel at the moment, thanks Brisbane. And then, big box sitting on the front of this thing. Now this thing comes standard with the bike carrier. Um, if you ever look like that's pretty unreal. Um, Three bike crack and then. Do you want to tell everyone what happened with the bike rack? <clears throat> Yesterday I was putting <laughs> Lennox's bike, bike on there and I fell, I was up there and I fell down, cracked my hip on there and then hit all this crap on the way down. Look. So you nearly broke me then? It broke me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, come around this side. Jerry can hold her on this. Inside this side of the box is that top level goes straight through and then this bottom we've got me my cooking station old ziggy not a hundred percent on old ziggy at the moment we're having fights but anyway ziggy's in it works half the time follow me around the other side of my box just got mostly just junk in there at the moment if anyone wants to steal anything, they're going to know where everything is. So, all that gear up the front sits on a Supergal chassis, and the front A-frame and the back bumper and wood box is all Raptor coat. And if you're unfamiliar with Raptor coat, it's this rubbery sort of um, texture coat that gets sprayed on the van, and um, I reckon it's better than Gal. Um, hatches on the side, this is a tunnel boot. It goes all the way through, and then sitting up here, that's where all my rods are going. So um, there's just a pipe. I just made that myself. Moving down. Oh, who put you in there? It's just another hatch, but in this hatch, it's got a lot of hose. And that right there is a way to fill the tanks when you're off grid near a river. So I'm gonna to touch a bit on that in a separate video, but this caravan can pull water out of, a, out of a river by itself and fill the tanks and be able to switch between tanks with these little 
valves here. So that's pretty cool. Um, that is one of our features that we added on this. Um, and it works well. This instant hot water system. Um, that looks like a lot of wires in there. Whatever. Close that. Close that. Um, it's pretty cool. Like you just flick your, your handle on your mixer in the um, van and then like a couple of seconds later this will kick in and give you hot water. So you don't have to heat a whole tank. 20 litres or so of water, this just heats exactly what you're using. These two little vents here are vents for our battery system inside, which I'll show you later. Three water tanks on this caravan, two fresh water or just normal use um, water tanks, which are hooked up to shower, sink, um, washing machine, all that gear. And then one dedicated drinking water that's, that's hooked into the tap on the sink with a filter. Outdoor shower, um, pretty standard. Uh, this little hatch here is the fridge. You can see the fridge right in the back there. Um, it just allows the fridge to breathe, etc., etc. Um, TV point to put an antenna external, and then that is where you plug your 240 in. This van, from now on, we're going to see how long we can get without plugging it into 240. It should we should be able to get forever with what we've done with it, but. We'll just see. Kids' beds, windows, we actually changed these windows. These aren't standard windows. And um, the reason being is the, not so much the windows, but the, the mesh inside. Um, what they come with wasn't uh, midgy mesh, so we upgraded to a, um, a fair dinkum. You boot, those little suckers aren't getting in. Some people call them no see ums. <laughs> Down here, you've got heavy duty stabiliser legs on um, each corner, and then a grey water tank, a um, 90 litre grey water tank. Two six five seventy five um, 16 inch rims on just an all-terrain tyre, no muddies, they're too loud, I think, from the last van, um, and it's sitting on Alco Enduro suspension. Now, this is Alco's new suspension that's um, made out of sheet metal, bent sort of like a car suspension, rather than your solid tube stuff that um, probably recently seen. And um, I think this one's 3.7 tonne, but we got it derated to three and a half, so Max could pull it. Follow me, keep following. On the back, there's um, two jerry can holders each side of this wood box. There's a wood box that lays at the back of these tires here. And I've um, put some Max tracks on the back of this, just in case when we get um, stuck, because we will get stuck. Um, what else we got on the back? Oh, we got Dave sitting up there for all our safety. Um, it's a safety Dave camera, so we can see when we're backing or just generally if we want to see who's behind us. A bit fancy. Yeah, and that hooks into your car. Um, little Big Red up there, he's sitting there to give us light at the back when we're doing work. God knows why we do work in the dark. Um, <laughs> this just a, a um, dirty gear bag. And then two spare tyres. We went to this, this van comes with one. Uh, we opted for the two just because um, this van, we've built it for like the ultimate off-grid. And the places we're going to take this, um, if we blow two tyres, we're, we're, we're dead. So dead in the sand or mud or something. Moving around this. Come, come. Come, come, my lady. This hatch here is just your Thetford toilet cassette. Um, or the devil's esky, whatever you want to call it. They're pretty standard thing, I'm pretty sure. This right here is our little outdoor entertainment hatch, um, power. These right here, it's a cool thing that Vacationer do. Um, your TV plugs in out here and they plug into the audio of the caravan. So instead of having your TV um, play through its speakers, it plays through the caravan speakers, which were much better. That's just an outdoor power point for when you're outdoors. Now, this is a bit of an upgrade. It's a fusion sound system. It's absolutely cool. Um, it, you can control it for an app from your phone. So you can be sitting out here and change to what you like. And it's also got an indoor um, speaker, which you can change just the speakers outdoor, outside, or you can have just the speakers inside, or you can change the levels up and down. Pretty cool bit of kit and Lenya loves it. This is just a table door 
you got your obviously your solid outside, your midi mesh on the out, like the outer side of this one, and then like your, it's like a crim safe um, panel on the inside. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool door actually. Um, it suctions real tight in, just like that. This is your little drunk handle when you want to come back from a late night. You can tell which caravan's yours, although they're all sort of blue. So if everyone's got them on, you might wander into a different caravan. But This caravan sits really high. We've jacked it right down at the front, but it normally sits the base. The base is about nearly hip level on me. I'm a short fella, but um, yeah, so you need the two steps to get in. And um, yeah, gas bayonet for old Ziggy, Ziggy there. Um, and then obviously this is another hatch for the front tunnel boot. Now, one thing you will notice on this is it's got a completely flat deck. It's a, there's no wheel arches. And what it allows us to do is have more storage space inside the caravan. You're not um, losing that space where the wheel arch would normally be. It means your caravan sits about 200 or 250 mil higher than the normal. Um, but being such a big van, that's sort of good because it gives us a bit more um, departure angles and all that sort of thing. Awning, uh, everyone probably has one of these on a caravan, I guess. Uh, just your rollout awning. Another th one thing that Vacation do do well is they put a centre support in, so when you're on rough roads, uh, there's that support, your awning's not going to um, bend and carry on in the middle. There's two work lights, they can either be just your normal light or a yellow light, so the yellow light stops bugs, if you didn't know that. And then the vents, the three vents up there, one's for the battery monitor, one is for the microwave, and one is for the exhaust fan. So another thing with this van that um, we, like we had it, there is no timber in it except for the cabinetry. So the walls are aluminium frame, covered by this aluminium composite panel, and on the inside of that, so all our insides, which Elena will show you and touch on, is a one-piece fiberglass. So there's no joins inside the caravan, it's all one piece, <laughs> and it looks schmick. There's a little fly on me that's just <laughs> trying to film here, fly. <laughs> yeah, so let's get under it, and I'll show you the water tanks and all the stuff that's underneath. <laughs> Look how tall the caravan is. You can um, crawl under it like this. But I'll start from the back, and um, at the back there is a 90 litre grey water tank that the shower, sink and everything runs into. There's a 60 litre fresh drinking water tank, and then your suspension and all that sort of gear. This right here is where all the pumps and all that are hidden, so again, to give more space and storage inside the van, the guys at vacation have put the pumps underneath the van, um, surrounded by alley checker plate. Then moving forward from that, there's two 95 litre water tanks, and um, then you walk, you move your way to the A-frame where it connects to the car. Um, another thing you'll notice with this um, caravan is all the pipes are lagged in uh, a plastic, which obviously helps when you go on those corrugated roads, rocks flinging up, etc, etc. Same with the water tanks, they've all got these steel um, casings. Bit of diesel heater muff coming out there, and um, that's about it under here. The flooring of this caravan is a honeycomb floor, so no timber in that at all, and uh, means lighter and stronger with the honeycomb setup. So, pretty stoked in this van that there's um, not going to be any walls rotting or anything like that, and if water does get in, um, it's not going to be an issue. We'll just seal it up and um, hope for the best. <laughs> I think that's all sweet. Right, crawl it out. Oh. I'm backing it up. Look at this. <laughs> hey, it's so tall. So head in. <laughs> That's my shirt. Yeah, Thank you're you. leaving stuff everywhere. You might <laughs> the van. Before we go in, this is the cleanest you'll ever see our caravan. The boys are asleep. We've only just got it. It's brand new. So, um, yeah, cleanest you'll ever see it. All right, come in. All right, we'll start with my TV. It came with a 24 inch TV like most caravans do, but we wanted to upgrade. So we got a 32 inch with a built in DVD player. 
Um, next behind this is my wardrobe. Um, I won't show you that, there's lots of clothes in there. Two storage things here. I love this little bench. I uh, don't have anything to put on it, but I like it. Um, see my bed? I have tried to colour coordinate the stuff in the van and I'm really into the blues and aqua. Happy wife, happy life. Anyway, I'll move on. We've got some um, Sirocco fans, which is awesome. They've actually put one here and one over there, um, which gets you all angles in the bed of a night time. We've got the Dometic thing, which is Nick's um, <laughs> forte. <laughs> Dometic dust reduction. <laughs> Nick can touch on that. Storage. That's as clean as it's going to ever get. Over here, we've got our little shelf. And this is my perfect addition. We don't have too much going on in the van because we take it a lot on corrugated roads and I don't really want to put it away. So we just keep it very simple. But this is my homely sort of thing. And that was from Little Wombat Designs, a small little um, shop that I found on Instagram. I loved it. And so yeah, I sent them a photo and they did that. All right, moving on, we've got some reading lights, some um, power and 240 volt. This little light, we found out that it actually turns the um, bathroom light on. So when you need to go to the toilet, of a night time, you just flick that bad boy on. How cool is that? All right, there's lots of points everywhere, as you'll see, so another reading light and um, power there also. So we've got our USB and our USB-C um, inlets, which is pretty cool. So we've got heaps of power everywhere, um, which we need. These two are massive storage Things, as you can see. This is our little table which slides in and out, back and forth, you know, normal table in a caravan. Around here, again, more inlets and this is actually our diesel heater um, power on and controller. So it's tiny, hey? Pretty fancy. It is a bit fancy. Near the bed, we actually have this massive drawer. Like, it's massive, so it's all our shoes. There's five of us now, so there's lots of shoes and the trusty old... Super sucker! <laughs> <laughs> all right, come into my kitchen. All right, so up the top, we have lots of storage, as you can see. So we're just putting food in there. I'll leave that to Nick, because there's no point me even trying. We have a microwave, which is really fancy. And obviously another cupboard. Working our way down, this is another fancy thing. I'm gonna say fancy a lot. This pops down and it is a light and don't even know what it's called. Exhaust fan. Exhaust fan. <laughs> I've got baby brain. Anyway, that's pretty cool. I'm really happy with that. And we're to my cooking domain. <laughs> Nick thinks it's his, but we all know Elenia does the gourmet cooking here. All our knobs. <laughs> and this little bad boy turns everything on so you can use it. Um, we did get the um, oven in this van. When we were researching, a lot of people don't get it and they use it as another, this whole part is another storage. I quite like the idea of the oven and we'll let you know if we use it. We have used it already, so I'm pretty stoked with that and it works really well. So we've got the grill here and yeah, the oven here where I'm gonna do lots of cooking. And down here, again, is another storage part. We opted for the black package because I think it looks cool. Again, we'll let you know if it works for us or if it doesn't, but I think it looks quite nice and it goes with our colours, I feel. 
thing. So this is our normal tap water and this is actually our filtered drinking water. To fill up our water bottle. More storage, bits and bobs and then plates and stuff like that. But yeah, that's my kitchen. So much space and we have not had to shove things in this kitchen now. All right, so this is an extra footrest that I've worked out how to um, put up and put down. There's like a little clicky thing here to keep it up. <laughs> oh, you're breaking our caravan already. <laughs> this is going really well. And then, actually, there you go. There you go. <laughs> and then, and then it goes down. I don't know. You learn something know. new every day, Nick. Yep. <laughs> All right, moving on. All right, we got a massive fridge and freezer, which is Thetford, but I'm gonna let Nick go into that a bit more. In other caravans, they normally put um, pumps and all that sort of thing under there, so you actually lose that storage um, spot. spot, and Because ours is actually under the caravan. So yeah, we've got a whole new drawer. This is what we needed. So if you've been following our adventures, our last caravan, we were right next to the boys. But this was a must. A whole new door <laughs> <laughs> to block the boys off. So this is going into the boys' little area. And as you can see, we've got the three bunks. Now we've got three boys. God help me. In each bunk, there is a Sirocco fan that's at the end. Big window, which is great, with again, the um, midgy mesh and a block out curtain. We also have a reading light with two 40 volt power points in there and the same USB um, ports down there. And that is exactly the same in each of the bunks. All right, storage back here for the boys. So normally, um, in these caravans down this end of the section they normally put a washing machine there we ended up getting drawers here which has been awesome that's where the boys um, like clothes and all that go which is great and then this is a bit of a mess <laughs> but yeah swimmers um, nappies because we've got two toddlers and um, a newborn and yeah our towels and linen at the back of there anyway I'll show you where we ended up putting our washing machine which I love a must with three kids is this bad boy I couldn't wait to use this for the first time it's a three kilo washing machine um, and it sits on the wall as you can see and it actually washes quite a fair bit of stuff power it on and it's got different settings here um, and that works off the inverter and obviously 240. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a lifesaver. Up here we've got three actually towel racks, one up the top here and two on the side. Um, we got the Thetford toilet, which is also good. This is our flushing button. We got our toilet roll holder, 240 volt um, power inlets and our lights. I actually love this. Look, it's a light behind the mirror. <laughs> That's really sad, isn't it? But I love it. Um, storage up here. The black pack um, comes into the bathroom and we've got another black sink for the bathroom. Something I love, or don't love, I guess, <laughs> is the big mirror that I can actually see what a mess I look like. Um, so yeah, that's on the shower door and coming into the shower again is the matte finish and there is heaps of room back to these <laughs> uh, push and pull um air thing <laughs> with a light round this is how you turn on and off the light that little contraption up there is the same up here in the boys room so it actually circulates um, in the ca whole caravan, which is really good too. Last but not least is this bathroom door. Um, you can get normal doors or you can get the Constantina door. Nick's saying yes. 
um, that actually unclips like that, pulls across and clicks in. So, but having this, you actually create more space. And with kids, it is so, as parents know, it's hard to dress your kids when they come out the shower. So all this space is open, which is a game changer. I'm pretty in love with this caravan. So I will hand you off to Nick to go over the stuff that I don't know. All right, I'm gonna start with the fridge and then start ripping the van part. But this is a Thetford fridge. It's 274 litres. Um, it's a pretty cool fridge. It's got obviously a um, power button, but it's got, that's your temperature control. It goes up to five. I think we're on one at the moment and it's still bloody cold. Um, but it's got also, you can just have the freezer on or you can just have the fridge if you're not using the freezer. So that's an energy saving thing. Um, and also it has a night mode. So on the night, if you press that button, it um, lowers your amperage. Um, obviously you're not pull opening the fridge as much. Um, and that lasts for, I think it's five hours. I'll have to check, but, um, and then it switches itself back over to normal um, operating. What I like about this fridge too, the doors and all that are really sturdy. Have a look at the freezer, it's massive. Huge. All right, that's a fridge. And now this uh, is the aircon. <laughs> Truma Aventa aircon. Now this does run off our battery system. Um, pretty cool aircon. You can sh actually shut it off with this um, thing. So moving it all the way back will push the air forward and nothing will come out of this side and vice versa. And if you have it in the middle, air comes out both sides. I'm going to rip this couch apart and show you the brains of the operation. Let's chuck some pillows. Alright, so in under the couch here sits our projector IntelliGrid power system. Now this is a completely new system to the market. You would not have seen this in any other caravans but like a test van or something like that. Now we will do a separate video on this, um, just go into more depth, so I'll just run over it quickly. But essentially it's just completely off-grid system that runs all our 240 appliances except for the stove electric hot plate. Um, and under here sits one 400 amp lithium battery, massive battery, a 3000 watt inverter, and that inverter is actually a charger as well. It's a 180 amp hour charger. Like that is massive. It'll charge this battery from complete dead in about two, just under two and a half hours, which is like next level. All its um, fuses are individual. So like a light circuit, each thing's individually fused. So if something goes wrong in a certain part of the caravan, a red light will come on just next to the fuses here and it tells you exactly which circuit's blown and then it makes it easier to diagnose problems if that makes sense. <laughs> it's got a 30 amp DC to DC charger coming from the car. With that charging alongside of it is a 40 amp um, MPPT solar controller. So this allows solar and, um, and the car to be charged and the battery simultaneously. Up on the roof there is 800 watts of solar and then another extra Anderson plug to plug in down the bottom of the caravan. So all together the solar, uh, we've got about a thousand watts and that's plenty, that's heaps. So this is where it gets cool with this projector system. In there hiding is a level sensor and um, I'll go into a bit more when we get to the control panel. But yeah, essentially that's in a nutshell, this system. Um, very cool, cool system and I'll show you a bit more when we get to the unit. <sighs> all right. Moving up to the control panel. This is projector's control panel. I think it's a seven inch screen. And on it, you can turn everything on and off. It's got a night mode, an eco mode, and a light off. That light off will switch all the lights off. The eco mode, um, obviously eco, makes you use less power. The night mode cuts everything off by your fridge. Obviously power, that one. The inverter is just on with a click of the button and you can turn your aircon on everything else hot water system pump your three our three um, water tank levels you got your solar solar charge coming in vehicle charge coming in what the inverter is using 
um, the grey water tank. And this this system also, if you click on this solar solar charge, it'll give you what solar's come in and how much time it's been charging. Any day, you can, you can click up here and change the date. 2020, 21, 22 if we wanted to. And it'll go and show you exactly what was put in that day and the time it was charging, which is pretty cool. And it makes it a lot easier to diagnose problems if there is something going wrong. Um, the same thing is with the vehicle charge. You can do the same thing. You can tell, go back a week and tell exactly how much power went in from the vehicle that day. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, same with the inverter. It tells you how much it's using, the percentage of the um, inverter, and all the rest. It gives you input current, input voltage, charging current, output current, yeah, everything, and all the loads on the inverter. So, I mean, it's pretty next level. And then, you hit across all these, you can turn the lights on, fridge on, radio, all through this. Next page along, this is pretty cool, that leveler I showed you in the caravan, down the bottom near the battery system, is actually a sensor, and it'll tell you how level your caravan is this way and that way. So when we're setting up somewhere, and then you can have this on in here, or an app, this whole system is on an app, so she controls everything by the touch of her finger on her app. The other thing this one's got is tyre sensors, so um, we can tell what pressures the tyre is, at all times through the phone or this or this display and then it's got gas levels as well so it'll tell you exactly how much is in a gas bottle the percentage so you, if you're going away and you know you need more gas you're on seven percent you can just say hey i'm going to fill this gas bottle up it has a notification thing if anything goes wrong in the van so if your gas levels get down it'll send a notification if your water um, water levels down, it'll send you a notification. Um, anything goes wrong with the whole system, notification pop up on your screen. And then just settings, you got system, everything like that. So this system is actually a really cool, um, really cool and innovative system, I think. Um, and exactly everything that's shown on the screen there is, is available on your phone. So you can turn lights on with your phone, you can turn water pumps on with your phone. Um, yeah, you can check gas levels, tyre pressure, how what level your van's sitting all through your phone. Um, you're sitting in bed, you don't want to get out, it's too cold, turn the lights off with your phone. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool system. But again, we're going to go through in depth that in another video. But I'm going to wear completely on battery now. I'm just going to put this aircon on because it's uh, very warm. It's like that. That's the aircon working off battery. So, I mean, this system is cool and I love it. I love it. I'm in love with it. All right, well, that is our caravan. <laughs> That's a wrap on the 2022 VK Ruffy. Yeah. So, we are going to do individual videos as time goes on when we get time with the boys. <laughs> um, like Nick said, with the battery system and what else? Yeah, a few other things that we got going on that's different with this van. Yeah. So. But in saying that, we set, we, when we were doing this, we set it up for off-grid travel and That's I think we've accomplished what we've it. That's we've got. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to test it out and see how it actually goes off-road. Yep. So if you want to see how this van goes, performs, all the rest, hit the subscribe button, hit like the video if you want, if you liked it. And um, hopefully we see you on the next one and follow us around Australia. Woohoo. See you later, guys. Yee-hoo.